Welcome to our exhibition Bridge to Metaverse at the magical world of CryptoVoxels. It is a world that was created a couple of years ago using a Minecraft engine. For those of you who never been here, you can look around and come back here anytime to explore the land and even to buy the land, although it's pretty expensive. So we are here for a moment renting the space at these galleries. I'd like to start our tour with significant artwork by globally recognized as a premier artist Ilya and Emilia Kabakov. Art News Magazine named them among the top 10 living artists of the world. Their artworks are at the permanent collections in leading international museums, including the Museum of Modern Art, New York, the Hirschhorn Museum, Museum of Contemporary Art, Chicago, Whitney Museum, Centre Pompidou, the State Hermitage Museum, Tate Modern Museum, and many others. They have had over 600 shows, just imagine. Here is the first digital image, D161, that was created from the original drawing. And um, I just would like to say about this drawing using Ilya Kabakov's words. I was never interested in any kind of graphic techniques. I always use just simple pencil or colored pencil pen, blank ink and fountain pen. So, well, here we are, thanks to technology, we have the digital unique image of the renowned and bold recognized artist Ilya and Emilia Kabakov. Here is Tommy Hartung's old, The Old Testament video that comprise of 25 chapters that a form of narrative about humanity, surveillance and belief systems. Um, the, um, this is a, an extension of the Bible, uh, the big project that was critically claimed and sold out 2014 video now in the museum and private collections, including Whitney Museum and the Hammer Museum um, in LA. Here we have two artists from Cuba, emerging young artists, Liz Capote on the left and Jose Capaz on the right. They mainly work with uh, paintings and drawings, but here we could see the um, animation here is another work of American artist Valentina Zanferescu. Uh, Michael Jew, an internationally recognized artist, stated about this work as what I like about a study of landscape painting is that the deceptively simple movement of the camera and its descent makes the space look like it's been abandoned. On my right, the works of Bill Great, born living in England, artist Misha Milovanovic. She represents the short video that based on her drawing of the sculpture that called Pinga, Pinga uh, or Pink. This is the goddess of fertility. On my left, another Cuban artist, Jose Nazabal with his digital stills. He works with identity issues and um, gender. The next artist I'm very proud to introduce you is Kendall Gears, a conceptual artist, curator, writer and human rights activist. He's from South Africa. He is multidisciplinary artist. He is uh, at the major collections um, of the museums, very recognized and powerful artists. He um, created these five new artworks and providing very powerful statement that I'd like to quote. There has never been a more important, no more pressing time than right now for artists to affect changes in the ways we understand politics, healing, ecology and economy. Art embodies the power of hope with the beauty of transformation. Here's um, another emerging artist, 
Nikita Shahov, this a visual artist working in extended reality, video and photography. Uh, he captured 40 seconds of reality in one image. Uh, so you can see a crowd as one united body. We will go back on the left. You can see Rashaila Marie Brown, the Chicago artist that actually moved around the globe 24 times. And this is her work shows herself performing a standard reality TV contract. The same one, one her mother refused to sign in 2016. And she was presented her work internationally and at the Chicago in, uh, Museum of Contemporary Art Chicago and Copenhagen in Johannesburg and London, Tate Modern. On the right is the work of another internationally renowned artist, Loris Grud. For our platform, uh, Snark Art platform, Loris specifically designed this uh, sonic artwork, the trilogy, a uh, five minutes, 38 sa second sound. Um, he was fascinated by the astrophysics um, research and astro seismology and found out that the stars, when they die, seem to be adjugnated by light pulsation. And that pulsation is actually the musion of sound frequencies. So he chose three of these frequencies and created this beautiful sonic artwork so you can listen the sound of dying stars. One of our iconic artworks by Eve Sassman, 89 seconds at Alcazar. She's a Brooklyn-based artist, and in her video, 89 seconds, Eve used time and motion to meditate on the mysteries of one of the world's most famous painting, Las Meninas, by the 17th century Spanish painter Velázquez. There are 10 copies of 89 seconds at Alcazar and to artist proof, so this one um, is a final remaining artist proof as it's a source of material and all copies were owned by the museums, Museum of Modern Art, Whitney Museum of American Art, the in uh, Samsung Museum and private collections. Um, this one, um, the li latest, the last video, we shuttered we split in 2,000, 3,000 unique blocks to create the new, a new work to, and the blockchain and experiment in ownership and collective interaction. So there are still 37 atoms are still available and owning just one. Thanks to technology and thanks to Eve's mastery, you can dive deep into the most, one of the most intriguing. You can explore that part with Anatoly Zhurablov and um, Denise Auch. That um, artwork is very interesting because it features Bitcoin Jesus. And we go on the second floor. Here is the work of IS plus F, a quartet that calls themselves omnidisciplinary artists. They work on intera uh, the interaction of traditional media, photography, and digital technologies. And they define their practice as a kind of social psychoanalysis. Here, um, the parts of the HD video installation project in Versa Mondos. We, ha we have short video that is not for sale and five still images. Uh, the project itself uh, was premiered in 2015 at the 56 Biennale di Venezia and later was shown in, um, um, at the number of other museums. 
around the world. Uh, the video episode is not for sale, but chimeras are available for an adoption as an exclusive house pet. Each mystical creature represents an imaginative, adorable, domesticated variant of what Greek mythology would have been a fearsome beast. So now everyone can have one and explore what animals were crossbreeded for such a pet. Uh, just to give you an idea of the artist's achievement, I'd like to mention that their artwork are in the prominent collections of the major museums of the world. The group had more than 400 shows, 100 sold exhibitions at the museums and exhibition spaces, and the worldwide, including Tate Britain, Maxi and Marco in Rome, Centre Pompidou, National Gallery of Australia. Actually, the group just announced that a couple days ago, one of the videos uh, was acquired by National Gallery of Australia. What an achievement! What an achievement! And congratulations! And here is a recycled group, a very provocative um, project that called the garbage. Uh, the group, recycle group, is formed by two friends, Andrei Blahin and Georgi Kuznetsov, from uh, since 2008. They are in the museums and various contemporary art spaces in France, Italy, Great Britain, and USA and Belgium. And they have participated in many biennales and exhibitions. Uh, the new provocative AR project is combines the physical object, the plastic bottle uh, on the pedestal, and AR um, to engage and interact with this artwork. You need to download uh, Recycle Group app either on App Store or Google, and um, and see what's 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 going to happen. So there is a sphere. 0, 0.0 and you can explore uh, how garbage will become a museum piece and we have a beautiful view here I'd like to enjoy this beautiful sky and see the beautiful view of the virtual world if the real world will be driving crazy as it was for many reasons we could always come here and enjoy our time thank you